they follow the Black Fang due south. Although the trail vanishes, Lin uses her tracking skills and the pursuit continues. The path leads up into Burns' impassable mountains. The peaks know no seasons, and the snow covers all in a bright blanket. In this land of blinding reflections, an ancient castle appears. Chapter 25 Pale Flower of Darkness So in the end, you failed to defeat them, didn't you? Ugh. I only introduced you to Lord Nurgle out of respect for your rank. I was mistaken, though, to think a former royal soldier would be. Next time will be different, I swear it. I beg of you, give me one more chance. Ha <laughs> ha, one more chance. Surely you jest. Without Lord Nurgle's good word, I'll never fly again. Not as a royal wyvern knight, at least. Please, another chance! Ah, but you're quite skilled at begging, at least. Desist. You have fallen from our graces. And nothing will change that. Just be grateful. You are an outsider, so you are spared the Fang's judgment. Mm. You stink of failure. Leave me to breathe in peace. Huh. Ursula, are you there? Yes, Lady Sonia. There are two types of people in this world, Ursula. Those chosen to lead, and those fit to only to serve, colon, human refuse. That's all, only two types. I am, of course, the former, a perfect specimen chosen by Lord Nurgle. You want to be like me, don't you, Ursula? Uh, well, yes, of course. Then you must use the refuse to your advantage. Treat them as equals, and they will only drag you down. That woman Vadia is a good example. She treats the trash as though they were people. That dooms her to failure. She truly is a fool. Uh -huh. You, however, you I like. You must take care. It would be a shame to see you fail as Vadia did. I understand. Thank you, most gracious Lady Sonia. That Wyvern Rider, that was the same woman we fought earlier. That proves that they took them this mountain path. Now that they've come this far, they've let down their guard. You can see their tracks in the snow, plain as day. And you tracked them without fail. Amazing. He, <laughs> anything to say, Hector? Uh, uh, well, uh, I was wrong to doubt you. At least you admit it, wow. Well, anyway, the fortress there must be their headquarters. Let's sneak in and see what we can find. Right, follow my lead. Why do those two seem to... <laughs> why do those two seem to be having so much fun? Ah, oh, it's good to see. Now, what we have here... What a complicated place. It's, a, it's little more than whispers, but I can hear human voices. Over there, let's go take a look. Marcus, wait here with Ninian and everyone else. Be ready to escape at any time, I'm counting on you. Yes, sir, I will not fail. Really? You're giving me a mission? Really and truly, Mother? I am, and it's a very big job at that. It's for the King of Burn. Oh, the King? Such an important job for me? Sonia, I'm against this. Giving such a dangerous job to this child? Father, you're right. This really is a job for your sons. However, we've seen nothing of them since their last report. Lloyd, Linus... Da, 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 da. So my daughter will do this. And I will have no complaints from you about it. Yeah. Ah, father. You may do as you please. But first business. Jafar, come. Oh. Jafar! Look, that man. He was at the Dragon's Gate. Nurgle's henchman. No qu N Nurgle's henchman, no question about it. Right. Jafar, should you be up? 
Don't your don't your wounds hurt? Oh. Must you be so discourteous? It really is quite irritating. You heard the king's request, did you not? Prince Zephyr. He wants him assassinated. What? The prince? The king wants to kill the prince? Why, but he's his son, isn't he? Nino, be quiet. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Jafar, this mission is yours, and you're to take Nino. You're not serious. Yes, I'm serious. The girl is my daughter. She must prove herself as soon as possible. Don't do this. This is too much for her. As long as you're with her, there should be no problem. I'll book no... Oh, I'll brook no disagreement. We must have the king in our debt. There is all, those are Lord Nurgle... Those are Lord Nurgle's explicit orders. Nino, you understand the consequences if you fail, don't you? Um, yes. Then we are off to investigate the prince's mats. I'll provide more details on the way there. Kenneth! Yes, Lady Sonia? Where is Brendan? He just left the room. Um, he went outside with Jan. I wonder what he's about. I'll deal with it later. Listen, Kenneth. You're in charge of the guard while I'm gone. Do not let anything happen to the item. Understood. I will guard it with my life. Huh, do they seriously mean to assassinate the prince? Aye, on the orders of the king, it would seem. Unbelievable. The emblem is essential to the prince's ceremony, right? And having the emblem becomes useless if the prince is dead. We must stop the assassination. The girl, Nino. If we speak with her, she might understand. Jafar looks like a dangerous man. But we have no other course of action. Oh, teleportation. Hello, trespassers. I bid you welcome. I will watch you for a long time. Long time. Teleportation. Gone. It's all right, he's still close. In this building, da da da, somewhere. We've got to defeat him and destroy this barrier. Otherwise, we'll never get out. Sergnam, we have to find that man and escape this place. What are your orders? All right, anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. I will be your tour guide for this episode, Gnome Shark. And let's begin by picking our units, shall we? Yeah, how about that? The, we, the, our team finally found out that the king was the one behind... behind. Uh, oh, we're going to need Matthew here. I, I'm always explaining like what I think of the story before I get cut off talking about what I need to do because, man, I'm not good at multitasking. Okay, Hector's at level 20, so we'll place him with Matthew, and pretty much the team is going to be the same otherwise. Real quick here, we're just selling the white gem that Louise was holding, so if you wonder where like the sudden surge of money came from, that's where that came from. Ooh, a silver bow, too. And we're also going to transfer in Penn's Physics Staff. That's the staff that, like, lets you heal from a ridiculously long range. Um, like a bolting range, pretty much. Um, ooh, and he's also got an Elf Fire. All right. And we're going to give Lucius the Secret Book, which increases his skill, because I just went through everybody's stats, and he does have the lowest skill. So we're going to pop him up to 12. We might as well use that. And really, just a reminder of all the cool stuff we have in here. By, in the Swords category, we still have, like, a Long Sword, the Light Brand, the sword that lets you use the Light Magic, a Worm Slayer, an Armor Slayer. And, of course, the Killing Edges and the Silver Blade. We have a lot of cool swords here, so we might as well give Ellie Wood something else to use. You know, let's get it. Let's, um... Let's uh, give away that slim sword and give him something a little cooler, like, um... Uh, let's see. Oh, the Worm Slayer is pretty light. Let's see. Oh, you know, we'll give him we'll give him the Killing Edge. Why not? And we're going to give Florina one of our Killer Lances. We bought a lot of those, um, because we have a crap ton of Lance users between Kent, um, you know, Kent, Sane, and Florina, and they use them like it's nobody's business. Raven, um... Let's see. You know, well, hell, we'll give one to Kent, too. We'll have him take one of those killer lances. He can't use silver lances yet. Uh, how upsetting. But soon. And even, you know what? Let's, oh, let's give Sane an axe. Right, let's give let's give these guys axes because they can use axes now. Um, we'll have Sane take an iron axe. And that will be it for this setup. And here we go. Chapter 25. Oh, Melinus is almost at level 20. Oh, goody. But yeah, um, oh, let me show off the map real quick. There's a lot of magic users here, and Kenneth is waiting up here in the top corner here. There he is, Kenneth. I should point out that there's two versions of Chapter 25. If your magic user's level added up um, is bigger than your physical units added up, you get Kenneth's version with all the magic users and stuff, and there's another version with some physical units. I forget. I don't even remember which one I got last time, but 
yeah, there's gonna be a lot of uh, magic going on. In fact, a lot of these guys have like bolting and purge, which is the the light version of bolting that can you know attack from this gigantic range, which is quite which can be quite devastating, especially to Matthew because we need to steal this chapter. And we gotta move Matthew out of the way really quickly, actually, because he can get picked off with the bolting um, really fast. Oh, and it's also snowing, so our mounted units can't really move and people can't really get through the snow. So it's all kinds of tricky, tricky stuff going on here. Uh, Matthew, can we get you away from the, the purge range? Eh, he's gonna move closer and go for Matthew anyway, so somebody's gonna need to rescue him. So Matthew, just move. Florina will rescue and we'll drop you off over here soon. Um, yeah, there's a big wall, there's a door in here. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay put until the snow stops. And actually, I think we're gonna end our turn. Um, we gotta just move Priscilla out of the way a bit here, put her in the trees. And we're actually gonna end our turn, because a lot of the beginning of this chapter is, like, waiting for them to waste all their purges and boltings, and you can't really move through the snow. And Merlinus! Oh god, good thing Merlinus is really dodgy. All right, yeah, Ninian. Um, I would have moved Ninian, but it turns out for whatever reason nobody can hit her. See the hit for five. Um, that's just a reoccurring theme with her when it comes to the long distance, the distance magic. So I, I'm really okay with moving Ninian around. Sane, it, it was never really that obvious. I mean, it, ne it never really stuck out to me. But Sane's big weakness, I think, is the fact that he has extremely low resistance, or maybe, maybe it's not exactly low resistance. But, um, oh wow, Dart can't get in front of that guy? Alright, well, let's see what, let's see what Rebecca can do. Um, she can do a, a big, a, oh, she can kill him, cool, do it, Rebecca! That was probably not best because she was actually extremely leveled up. She's the highest, I think she's at, like, level 3 already classed up, so uh, that probably wasn't necessary. Is she gonna reach 4? Yeah, she, she uh, Rebecca's actually getting a little farther away from everybody else right now. But, um, yeah, Sane, Sane has a really low resistance stat. Um, magic users do, uh, do a lot of damage to him for whatever reason, and let's see, but Lin's is actually through the roof, so I don't mind moving Lin over this way to take care of those guys. Um, the Wyvern Riders are approaching from up this alleyway here, the Alley of Disaster, so we're gonna put some dart action up nearby, he'll get there. Um, Raven's, <laughs> Raven, a poor Raven, I never classed him up, he's still sitting at 19, we gotta get him some action, so he'll take out a Wyvern Rider or something. Um... These guys are approaching from over here. Canis, you know what? You and Sane can handle them for now, so line up and wait for them. Even Lucius will join in on that some of that action. But really, since nobody can really move through the snow, we'll have to stop. Wait for the, so the snow to stop. I think it alternates on like a three-turn basis. Um, like everything, it'll be like three turns of snow, three turns of no snow. Okay, yep, bolting. You can't hit Ninian for whatever reason. I wonder what that, I wonder what it is about her, that magic users have such a tough, tough, tough time hitting her. But look at that Lin! Oh, her iron bow was equipped! Darn it! I never... I gotta watch that. I gotta watch, like, what, what she's actually holding. Oh, but she can fight back here! Cool! Yeah, I, when, when Lin leveled up, she got, like, plus three resistance when she classed up. And it, it makes her fighting magic users, like, a, a cakewalk. Big walk in the park. Alright, Lin's at level three. Good. Yeah, okay, more defense. I'll take it. Yeah, her resistance is 16, so... I'll take it. An L-Fire guy, oh boy. Even he, even he has a tough, a tough time hitting her. A tough time, a tough time. But Lin will give him a, a swift iron bow. All right, is there gonna, there's gonna be another purge, right? Yeah, here's the, okay, there's another purge there. 16 damage is a lot. There it is. Gotta keep Sane healed up because they go for him, those magic users. Um, who's the guy with the bolting? It's this guy. He hasn't used any yet, though? Oh, yes, he has. He used, um, he attacked, well, yeah, he's got three left. But for now, we're gonna have Lin just, oh, man, Iron Sword just, just cut this guy up into pieces. Oh, man. Good work, Lin. Lin, Lin is becoming, I gotta, I gotta, um, oh, critical hit! Clones of Lin, have we seen that yet? I forget if we've seen that. I, I remember it, though, how there was, like, the clones of her, and she, like, does the cool thing. I don't know, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, we're gonna move Dart over here. Um, who's gonna take out this guy? I don't want Lin to do it, because she's actually leveled up pretty well. Yeah, just drop, just drop, uh, Matthew over there for now. Um, can anybody get up? Yeah, nobody can get up there. I guess it's just gonna have to be up to Lin. That's just the way it's gonna have to be. That's what that's all she wrote. Unless we dance for somebody. Nope, not really. We're just gonna have to let them come to us again. 
Yeah, even even flyers can barely move in the snow, which is which which will make the beginning of this, or at least these next few turns, quite painfully slow. But okay, the Wyvern Riders are approaching. Everyone is approaching. Here comes that you know the bolting against Sane. Oh wait, if Sane gets purged, he dies. Oh Sane, don't get purged. I should have moved you. Gosh darn it. Don't get purged, man. Don't get purged. Please. I forgot. I, I, I should have I should have had you heal up or something. Yup, here comes the purge. 50-50. And it missed! Woo! That's right. I am I knew that was gonna happen. Don't worry. I'm I'm all so, I, I'm so good at this, I knew it was gonna happen. Not really, that was really close. So my gosh, Sane, we gotta move you back towards Priscilla. And I don't think he, uh, I don't, hey look, oh, a support conversation between, um, Ellie Wood and Ninian, but right now, I think we need to get Sane, uh, Sane healed up, because we can't have a, another accident like that, though it was good for wasting the long distance magic, um, I, I forgot that, uh, if, if, if they realized they were gonna kill him, I should have realized that they both would have tried to, um, oh, damn it, alright, we'll have to move Sane over, they both would have, um, attacked him, I should have realized that that they change their minds on who, who their targets are gonna be if they can kill somebody. And the odds were almost in, the odds were, you now 50-50, the odds were kind of in their favor, but not really. All right, this'll be an easy, yeah, this'll be an easy win for Canis because he is just the, the druid of doom. Flux! And here it comes again! Flux! And, oh, I also meant to point out, I was looking through people's stats before, check this out. Now tell me, tell me what you think about this. Where's Lucius? Look at Lucius' defense. This is like physical defense. Five, right? And let's see like somebody like Raven, I don't know. Seven, okay? Pretty low actually, and nine for Rebecca. Somebody like, you know, Dart will have, you know, ten. Check out Canis's. Twelve, right? It's higher than Dart's. Like, Canis can go hand-to-hand -hand with a, it seems like Canis could go hand-to-hand -hand with a physical user and hold his own extremely well. I don't know if that was just lucky level ups or what, but it, I think that turned out pretty, um, pretty well for him. And all right, we'll just have Lynn finish this, even though she's strong enough. We'll have her use her iron sword and take care of that leveled up magic user. Yeah, there's also um, a character you can recruit here, but depending on what you do in the chapter, a different one will appear. Wow! Man, Lynn is so good. Man, Lynn is so good. Holy crap. Oh, and we got a chest key, though we won't really need it. On turn nine, somebody will appear depending on how many classed up units you've killed, um, uh, enemy units you've killed, and I don't really plan on using either of them, but they, they do hold pretty important, pretty good weapons. Um, like a, bra a brave sword, the kind of sword that will uh, let you go twice. Um, and if you could go twice already, you go four times, which is nuts. But the other guy has a, a, a thing called a Wo Dao, um, which is like, it's just like a fancy name. It's like Lin's Manny Caddy, which is also really good. So if anything, I mean, I, I'm, I really don't care which one I get. So I, I'm not entirely sure on what the exact status is of what you have to do to get them. So last time the guy with the, the Wo Dao appeared and that was fine with me. So I, I, I'm really, I'm really impartial either way as to who gets who, but oh God, here comes the purge. Boom. That's probably half why he keeps his slender figure. He uses, he purges. Okay, that was in poor taste. But hey, anything in your mouth tastes bad after you purge. Whoa! Okay, um, is he out of, is he out of, oh, he's got one left. And he won't kill Sane, so we'll leave him be for now. There's no more Wyvern Riders coming from the east. I could have swore there would have been more. All right, there isn't. Um, yeah, these guys, you know, just uh, go for whoever you want. I'll be happy if you attack either of them, really. Um, Ellie Wood, everyone else is, everyone else is kind of chilling. We'll do that support conversation for now. Um, here we go. In Ferry every year, we hold a grand harvest festival. Everyone in the land comes to eat, drink, and dance. Uh, Ellie Wood, we're kind of in the middle of a big fight here, and a bunch of Wyvern Riders are charging straight for us. If it wasn't for Raven and Dart, we'd be in big trouble. But that sounds like fun! You should come too, Ninian. Everyone will be happy to see your dancing, I think. Ho ho! The one you showed me the other day was truly beautiful. Uh-oh! Wait, the other day, when did they have time to do that? Since our last support conversation, has there really been much time? 
Oh, I guess the two of them find time. Anyway, my mother too loves dancing, you know. She would be pleased. She would be pleased, Bob Hoffman. At the festival time, she dances all night like a young maiden. My father always clucked his tongue and shook his head. Shook his head. But each year, he would dance with her until the dawn. Ah, hyphen hyphen. Forgive me, you must... You must think of my father often enough. No, it's all right. I mean, not compared to you, Lord Elliewood. Ninian, remember what I told you. My father's death was not your fault. You should not blame yourself, not at all. But Lord Elliewood, you're wrong. You don't know everything that... Uh, what? Um, I, I have been de deceiving you. Deceiving? What do you mean? It's just, um... I'm sorry. Ninian? Ninian, don't cry. I don't know what has happened. But I do know I never want to see you sad. So sad. Hmm, interesting there. Ninian hiding some secrets, perhaps, from Elliewood. And they reach the B-level support. Oh, he, Hector? Uh, uh, he's got one with Hector? Forgot that was going on on the